All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Dying Light 2. Stay human. I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. And we are continuing our story as we run through this campaign to see what exactly is going on in Villador here. Uh, we just delivered some very unpopular orders to Lieutenant Rowe. And uh, he left pretty pissed off. Now it's just me and Luan up on the up on the roof here. We're going to have a little discussion and see what our next uh, step's going to be. Go ahead and leave a like down below. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think of it, what you think of the channel, and what kind of changes and stuff you'd like to see from me in the future. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I appreciate it. And as always, feel free to share these videos with everyone and anyone you know. Thank you. Let's get to it. What's next? Next? Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah. Thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care of one. Oh, well. Go. There's nothing more to say. Let's go ahead and spend our skill point first. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. Let's do that one. Hello? Hello? We're under attack. Renegades, they surrounded us on the island. We don't stand a chance. I'm begging you, help. windmill. We claimed a windmill in uh, the center here. Setup. 
seen you elsewhere, bro. Oh, man. Okay, so we got a lot of potential stuff to to sell here, huh? We got a couple bows. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. can get mods on them. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, we got a good saw blade axe there. The turbine sport bow. And the chopper. The loose screw. Come back for more. Alright, so we sold off some goodies. Let's make sure we get all equipped up here now. Haha, <laughs> cool shirt. Cool kicks. Okay. these puppies now all right cool all right accessories we don't have any molotovs right now consumables But we'll make more of those later. All right. Does he sell alcohol? He does. The next thing we want to look for is settle by the wind now that the juice is back. A crack. 
craftsman. I'm not sure if we'll get that here or not. Looks like we have a safe place to crash by the window. I can't Bizarre. All right, so we're going to fast travel back to the bazaar. It's been a while since we've been there, but I know we've got a, a guy there that can uh, do some crafting for us, so that's an important thing now that we have the ability to fast travel. It's kind of cool. I want to see how we are in... Uh, regards to making and upgrading blueprints. So, that's where we are with this. I guess Vincenzo took over. Let's do some trading too. Oh, look at that. He's got a pyramid blade. Ha! There's a little throwback to uh, Silent Hill. That's cool. selling any goods though. Alright, well, let's sell some of this crap. So let's look at upgrading. Ooh. So we need one more military tech to do that one. Badass. The Molotov. Well, hell with it. Let's do it. Make Molotovs to be that much stronger. It's early in the morning. up 
go to nighttime. And we're going to do something we haven't done yet, and that is take a little time to try to farm some of these trophies. That'll be trophies, XP, and all kinds of other uh, stuff. You know, items and all that. And we'll do that simply by going outside and starting a fight. Here comes some more. 
So we got to keep, uh, wow, we got to keep ourselves from letting those guys spawn in, those volatiles, that hurt. Hopefully all that stuff's still there. So let's go in here where we're safe and let's take a look at what we got for um, trophies and whatnot now, right? Uh, where? Oh, here we go. 36 uncommon, 12 rare, 8 unique. Tell me that's not solid. 36. begin. Go right back to the truck. Get in. And boom! Let it begin. Murder time. Come on. Fun. 
Okay, so we've got a little method there to farm up some trophies real quick. That was pretty darn effective. Now we go back in here. And we go to our craftsman here. Now we can look to upgrade... Upgrade the medicine. Nice. Let's look at weapon mods. This is where I really like to upgrade. So the spark. Done. Let's do it again. Done. And oh my goodness, we can do it one more time. Done. Alright, so we need some more uncommon ones. But for now, wow. So the spark mod is now very, very powerful. So if I take... Okay, like this weapon here. We want to modify it. We want to put a spark mod on it. It still only takes one electric part, so that's good. And five wiring. Ten scrap. Cool. So yeah, that thing does some serious damage now. With that with that shocking addition to it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so let's try it again. Oh, oh. oh. Batter up. Oh. 
Let's go back into the uh, backpack there, and we're back up to 14 uncommon, 10 rare, 7 unique. So the unique ones will have to build up uh, a different way, but anyway, that was a good start. We're gaining uh, a nice amount of XP here at nighttime too. Nighttime is definitely not as scary as it was in the original Dying Light. The original Dying Light was terrifying because you had those volatiles everywhere. And you used to see their little eyeball light up on your mini map and it would, you know, give you a warning like, oh, you're almost in range, you're trying to sneak around them. Yeah, they had a cone. Excuse me, a cone that showed like their line of sight and all that. And if you weren't careful. Uh, track them. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's go pick up these bags. Take a look again. Let's see what we've got. We're back up to 34 infected trophies, 15 rare, and back up to 8 unique. So we're steadily building up all of them by doing that. We could probably. God, just screwing around for a single night would probably net us a despicable amount of trophies. Our combat level went up. I 
power mods. So let's look at the shaft ones here. This weapon does 46 damage. We've got that great spark mod on it. Now we'll add this big flame one. So now it's a 50 damage, 138 durability, so it's pretty powerful. It's going to inflict lot of damage with shock and fire when it works now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, well, I know this wasn't the most exciting episode. We really did not advance the story too much. It was basically just an opportunity to try and do a little bit of farming. If I do some more farming, I will do it off camera. Um, just because nobody wants to watch you bash it, uh, well, not many people in Hawaii should bash, bash in the heads of zombies for an hour or so, it's just kind of boring, you know, there's no story to it, it's just repetitive nonsense, and even as a player, it's a little annoying, it's like, alright, here we go, so, with that, we're gonna go ahead and bring this one out to an end, thanks for watching another episode of Dying Light 2, Stay Human, I just wanted to demonstrate a way to farm um, those tokens, you know, those uh, trophies that you get from the creatures, there's a really easy place to do it. And once again, let's look at it. It's daylight now, so let's find it in the daylight. It's real easy to do. You can do this pretty early on in the game, actually. Um, you just won't be able to do it that easily because, you know, you don't have a good weapon or, or armor that early on. But you go right outside... of the uh, church here, you know, where the bazaar is. Right over here is a train station. And like you guys saw, I demonstrated I was able to stand here and bash them, which was okay. But I found this to be more effective to just stand in the back of this truck. So I instigated a, bol a bolter got him angry and got him to the point where you know he howled out and woke up all the virals and then once the virals started attacking that was it man it was just it was a bloodbath virals everywhere so we got 30 some odd uh, uh, uncommon trophies at least twice I believe I don't know I'd have to rewatch the video to tell you how many but I know we went in and upgraded a lot of stuff so that's pretty freaking cool you know? and right now where we stand with those trophies is we've got 14 uncommon 12 rare and 8 unique now let's see if there's one more thing we can upgrade Yeah, we can do the Molotov cocktail again. Alright, that drops us to 4, 9, and 8. So, but now we've got a uh, Molotov cocktail that does 45 uh, damage initially in 10 seconds. Or 10 damage per second for a total of 6 seconds. So that's pretty solid. Fire spreads out for 3 meters. Not bad. will start to be a little more deadly than they were before. All right, thanks everybody for watching. This has been Dying Light 2. Stay human. I'm Captain Beefy on the Game Vault channel. If you haven't already, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications if you don't mind. And I'll see you next time. We're going to wrap it up. In the meantime, everybody, stay human.